Hey boys, welcome back to some more Roosters career mode, though it is the Tongan Internationals taking on Cook Islands in the Pacific Championship still. And there's big Dylan Napa, the captain, it looks like. So Dylan Napa, I think he... I don't know if he has represented Cook Islands, but I know he does have, like, heritage, I think. <laughs> you know, most people in the NRL have some sort of affiliate they can they can play for, but... Well, look at their side, it's not too bad. I mean, they got... Takarangi, Rapana, Jeff Daniela, uh, the halves I'm not too sure of, Zabtaya, Kenny Edwards, Dylan Napa, Tinaru Arona, and then Petteru uh, Mataora. So they got a, you know, they got a sprinkling of NRL talent there. Not, uh, not as good as like a Fiji or a uh, Samoa, but, you know, they could be, they could be a bit of a challenge. It's right there. We throw a couple of silly passes. Thankfully, the, <laughs> the, uh, the bloke there just, knocked us the other way but uh we, we are undefeated in this tournament so far this game is probably one of the easiest we'll play so i'm feeling pretty confident and we start the game off pretty strongly akuma tai tries to get the pass away just uh didn't quite match up the cover defense was right on us so just take the tackle set up for the next play as solomon carter there gets it back to george to and he's just gonna score the first try of the game pretty simple Pretty simple stuff. It was created by the initial line break. And that's what I like. That is what I like a lot about this game. Is the fact that if you make a line break. A lot of times. You'll actually score. Uh, following that. You know in other rugby league games. The play the ball would be so slow. And uh, you know it would just. All momentum would pretty much stop. So if you made a line break. You would just. Uh, you wouldn't really score. We're going to score again here. George Tafua. That was just pretty clinical, honestly. It was just a simple 2 on 1. Carter there just draws in the fullback. No one else in sight. And Tafua gets a nice, easy run to the trial and to pick up his second in, in 20 minutes. So, a uh, pretty strong game for Tafua to start here as uh, the Cook Islands get a get a uh, small chance here. Who is this? Zeb Taya straight through the gap, but Tao Tai comes up with a huge 1 on 1 tackle. There was a massive gap there, but Tao Tai has definitely saved our ass. And right here, Tai just uh, plucks someone out of the air. That was uh, that was pretty handy work. And we go on the counter attack straight away. Gets it to Tao Tai back to eventually Takeo. We just go, <laughs> we go on the whole way across the field there. Probably should have just taken a bit of a hit up, but you know we got a bit of confidence up. Is beautiful inside ball. Akuma Tai gets it out to George Tafur, who's been in great form, and he's just gonna steamroll the fullback. Feel a bit sorry for the fullback. He's uh, he's had a rough a rough uh, first half. George Tafil mix up his hat trick already. Thirty minutes gone. He's getting a try every ten minutes, so he's uh, he's in pretty decent form. And right here, you know, just steamrolls him. <laughs> Look how little he is. They got a little fullback. I don't know what he's rated. I think he's um he's probably just like a random generated player, and I don't think he's rated too well. So we're just uh, we're sort of exploiting the fullback's uh, inability to tackle George Tafua's Tau Tai. That is a nice pass and a nice curving run there. He's going to shrug off the, the defender coming across in Tau Tai. An individual bit of magic there. It was a really nice pass. I, I don't know who passed it, but got him into the backfield, through the dummy, and uh, just shrugs someone off. I don't know who it was, but it was a nice bit of play. Tau Tai, you know, obviously Tafua's got three tries, but Tau Tai has actually been just as good as Tafu, honestly, he came up with that huge try saver, and uh, he's made a couple of decent runs as well, as we spread out to this right-hand side, which is just devastating, Tafu on one-on-one, -on -one, it's a mismatch, and he's just going to shrug away, it was sort of, you know, last time, you know, you give it to the fullback, he put his body on the line, he got uh, he got rocked, but that time, you know, a little bit soft, you know, he didn't really go in for the, go in for the collision, you'd say, he sort of just brushed him aside, and Tafu picks up his fourth try, in the first half, and uh, it's a bit of a flogging, a bit of a whitewash early, and I wasn't, I wasn't expecting like a really hard game, but I wasn't expecting to score this easily. Honestly, we've uh, we've definitely hit some formers to forward just shrugs in way on again. We're just getting the offloads. It's almost half time. Get the kick in. We still got the ball, but Tau Tai gets tackled, and uh, that's a that is just a clinical first half of football. The Cook Islands only had one opportunity. And they had a pretty good opportunity. I mean, Tiatai had to come up with a huge try saver, but it was, uh, it was good stuff. 
as well. <laughs> oh my god. Conrad Harold this time just bulldozes, bulldozes the fullback. Oh man. Just watching this, it's it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch it right there. Lola here, unfortunately. Uh, I actually don't remember if he just dropped that ball or, or if I tried to pass it. I don't know, but either way, it was a, it was a loose carry, and uh, Cook Island survive that time. Is a nice ball there, cutting me out. Conrad Harrell onto onto Fecky, but the the uh, the player there caught him up pretty easy. I thought Fecky was going to be going to be away for the prize there, but no. Saluini tries to scoot out from dummy half, showing his speed. Last tackle, good uh, good set. Lola here puts up the bomb out to the right-hand side, which has been so damaging. We do get the bat down, but it's straight to Zebtea. That was actually a bit of a nervous moment, I thought. When we batted that down, I thought he was going to race away and probably score a try, but thankfully the players rounded him up pretty quickly as uh, a good kick return, and we go straight on the attack. Gets it out here to Solomon Carter. On to George Tufu, gets rid of the uh, fullback once again, picks up his fifth try. <laughs> the fifth try for George Tufu, he is unstoppable. He hasn't had to, I mean, I, I, I was going to say he hasn't had to do too much, but I mean, he's made a lot of ground, and it's just, it's just these one-on-ones. I mean, the fullback has no chance. All we have to do is palm him off, or just, uh, just, just shoulder charge him out of the way, honestly. It's, it's too easy. I don't know what the hell, I don't know why I'm setting tactics. I don't know what I'm doing. Just kick the fucking ball all here. And uh, we put it out left. I don't know what I'm doing. The wind is going left. I, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a strange little bit of little bit of play from myself. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but Islands get, get a chance here. Uh, two minutes game. We obviously dropped the ball or gave away a penalty or some sort. But they put up a bomb. It's a pretty shocking kick, honestly. And uh, who is that? Conrad Harold gets the pass away. Beautiful stuff onto Fecky, and it's a foot race. The poor old footbag, he's tried his heart out. He's not going to get to him, though. He's just, uh, he's had an absolute shock. And look how small he is. Oh, my God. Playing this game, I didn't realize how goddamn small the fullback was for Cook Island. He is, <laughs> he is literally five foot tall. Like, Fecky is a giant compared to him. And Fecky's not the biggest bloke in the world. Well, and that was just a nice play, you know, uh, who took that bomb? I think it was Tautai. He got the pass away. You need, you know, we're just in such good form. The confidence is sky high. Just go straight on the counter attack, and just had had them spread. Thirty-eight nil. This is probably one of my highest uh, scoring games playing this game ever. Honestly, I don't usually go for like high scoring games, but just yeah, this game just everything was working. You know, the Cook Islands obviously not the not the strongest side compared to compared to our team anyway. They got a couple of good players, as uh, Hardwick, the fullback, <laughs> takes the takes the last hit up of the game, which is fitting. But George Tafil, man, the match, five tries, dude. Uh, Cook Islands actually didn't make an error, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.